Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is Proverbs chapter 28, verses 13 and 14. He who conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will find compassion. How blessed is the man who fears always, but he who hardens his heart will fall into calamity. Is repentance necessary in the Christian's life? Yes, and we can see this truth in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You may say, the word repentance isn't in that verse. But let's take a closer look. Remember, to repent means to change your mind. For non-Christians, this is included in saving faith, the decision to trust in Jesus. Then, for believers, repentance, which involves a change of heart with regard to behavior or attitude, is an ongoing decision to lead an obedient, Christ-like life. In 1 John, this choice is represented by the word confess, which means to agree with. In other words, if you confess your wrongdoing to God, you're coming into agreement with Him about that sin, and therefore disagreeing with your previous view about that sin. Here, confession isn't a matter of salvation. Rather, we're acknowledging our need for the Heavenly Father to continually reform our mind, molding us more and more into the image of His Son. As we cooperate with God's continuous work in our life, our mind will reject old thought patterns and will more closely align with His way of thinking. Is there sin in your life that's become too uncomfortable to bear? Confess it and allow God to change your heart today.